you're struggling to connect to online multiplayer matches on the Nintendo Switch or keep getting errors like this one while playing, this video should be able to help you find an easy solution. Internet connectivity issues featured a big part in my Day 1 impressions video for Switch Sports, but after playing around and doing internet tests, I noticed that I had something called NAT Type D on my internet. When I played at a friend's house, even though the connection speed was lower, I was getting regular connections and matches very easily. The only noticeable difference I found was that there, I had NAT Type B. So I did a little bit of research. NAT Type, or Network Address Translation, is essentially where there are restrictions on communicating with other IP addresses without getting too technical. And there are five NAT Types for Nintendo Switch. A quick shout out to purevpn.com for this information. So NAT Type A is best, where your Switch can communicate easily. NAT Type B is also really good with minor restrictions, and you need one of these two NAT Types to communicate effectively with people online and get those matches. NAT Type C and D have heavy restrictions, and as I said in my case, I had NAT Type D, so I could only get bot matches and a few human matches with players who had NAT Type A, but nothing else. And then there is also NAT Type F, where you can't communicate with other players at all. If you've been struggling to get online matches or you just want to know what your NAT type is, go to settings on the Switch console, then internet and then test internet connection and it will display on the screen. Naturally you need to get to NAT type A or B and there are two solutions I found that both about getting a static IP address for your Switch. The first is contact your internet service provider and ask for a static IP address. Depending on your service provider, it can be very simple and take about 10 minutes or so, as it can be a bolt-on option, but it can cost you to do so as well. And a little bit of extra info here for Australian users, certain internet service providers are pretty restrictive with gaming on the internet, ones like Aussie Broadband and some of the smaller companies. A lot of people I've found who are having connection problems have been Australia based, so check out your internet service provider find out if you've got a static IP address or not. I got clued into this by user Bridie76 on Reddit, so thank you so much. The second is free, but it's a little trickier to do. What you need to do is follow the instructions on the Nintendo Switch support page about NAT problems. It gives a great overview and you can select options based on your router and modem setup. It even gives a description of port forwarding to assign a static IP address to the Switch itself and takes you through this step by step. If you're confident with this, you can get into your modem settings and you can follow the instructions, do this, and you can change your NAT type pretty simply. So following either of these depending on your situation should help you get connections good enough if you can get online and play. Obviously I'm targeting this at Nintendo Switch sports fans, but frankly this is just good advice for if you're struggling to connect with any game on your Switch. It really helped me out and I hope this helps you too. Thanks for watching, stick around for more specific Nintendo Switch sports content. Thanks to my patrons like Rain, I Love Waffles 1311 and Sick Hippie for their support through Patreon. I'm Master Trainer Peter and I'll see you soon.